my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bachelor of computer applications fourth semester subject software engineering as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision Unit 2 the important short question is what is stakeholder analysis stakeholder analysis is the process of finding out who is involved in a software project and understanding their needs and expectations these people are called stakeholders stakeholders are anyone who is affected by the software or has an interest in it this includes clients who pay for the software users who use the software developers who build the software testers managers government if rules apply example if you are building a school management app teachers want easy attendance features students want a simple timetable parents want fee tracking school owners want reports by doing stakeholder analysis we understand what each person wants so the software meets everyone's needs easy to remember stakeholder analysis is equal to who wants what it helps avoid confusion and builds software that makes everyone happy next important question is to what is srs srs stands for software requirement specification It is a document that clearly explains what the software should do. It is prepared after understanding the customer's needs. The SRS acts like a blueprint for developers, testers, and designers. It avoids confusion by listing all features, rules, and requirements in one place. Example: Suppose you are building a banking app. The SRS will mention the user can check balance the user can transfer money login must be secure with otp it should work on android and ios once the srs is ready and approved the development begins easy to remember srs is equal to software recipe sheet just like a cooking recipe tells you what ingredients and steps are needed The SRS tells the software team what to build and how it should behave. It helps everyone stay on the same page. Next unit to important. Long questions. First important long question is list and explain the characteristics of the good requirement. In software engineering, a requirement is a statement that tells what the software should do. a good requirement helps the software team build the right product if requirements are not clear or complete the software may not work as expected so good requirements must follow certain characteristics here are the main characteristics of a good requirement one correct it should clearly say what the user really wants example The system should allow login using username and password. It should not be based on guesses. To complete, it should include all necessary details without missing anything. Example: Not just show profile, but also edit and update profile. Three: Clear and unambiguous. The requirement should be easy to understand with no double meaning. bad the system should be fast how fast good the system should load within 3 seconds 4 consistent there should be no conflicting requirements example one line says allow only online payments another says allow cash this is inconsistent 5 verifiable we should be able to test whether the requirement is met example system should send email after registration we can test this 6 feasible 
it should be possible to implement using current tools and technology. Example, don't ask for mind reading features. Keep it practical. 7. Modifiable The requirement should be written in a way that it can be changed or updated easily in future. 8. Prioritized We should know which requirements are most important, so they are developed first. Easy way to remember. C3F MVP Correct, complete, clear, feasible, flexible, modifiable, verifiable, prioritized. Summary a good requirement is like a clear instruction manual. It helps the software team build exactly what the user needs, no more, no less. Next important long question is to list and explain the validation techniques. In software engineering, validation ensures that the software meets the user's needs and works as expected. It checks if we are building the right software by confirming it matches the requirements and the customer's goals. Here are some key validation techniques. 1. Reviews In this technique, a team of people, developers, testers, and stakeholders reviews the software to make sure it meets the requirements. They look for errors or missing details. Example, a team might review a mobile app design to ensure it matches what the client wants. 2. Walkthroughs This is when a developer or designer presents the software or its parts to others to explain how it works and get feedback. Example, a developer might demonstrate a new feature in a project meeting to ensure everyone understands it and it meets the requirement. 3. Inspections this technique is like a detailed examination of the software by experts. It's a formal process where documents and code are checked for quality and correctness. Example, a quality assurance expert might inspect the code of an app to ensure it's bug-free and follows standards. 4. Prototyping In prototyping, a small, basic version of the software, called a prototype, is built and shown to the users for early feedback. This helps developers know if they are going in the right direction. Example, for a new online shopping app, a simple prototype may show how the homepage and cart would look, allowing customers to give feedback. 5. User Testing This involves real users testing the software to make sure it works well and is easy to use. Feedback is collected to improve the system. Example, a beta version of a mobile game might be given to a small group of users and their feedback is used to fix bugs before the official release. 6. Acceptance Testing This is the final check to make sure the software meets the customer's requirements. It is done by the client or end users. Example, before launching a food delivery app, the client tests it to ensure everything works as expected, like order placement and payment. Easy way to remember. RWIPU, reviews, walkthroughs, inspections, prototyping, user testing. Summary. Validation is about making sure the software does what it is supposed to do and meets the needs of the user. It's like checking if a dish tastes good before serving it to guests. Next important long question is 3. Explain about the process of requirement change management. Requirement change management is the process of handling any changes that happen to the requirements of a software project after development begins. Requirements may change due to various reasons such as new customer needs, market changes, or unexpected technical challenges. Without a proper process for managing these changes, the software project can become confusing, delayed, or even fail. So, a well-organized change management process ensures the project stays on track. Here are the main steps in requirement change management. 1. Identifying the change. 
The first step is to identify that a change is needed. This could be because the customer wants a new feature or there is a bug in the current design. Example, a customer asks for an additional payment method in an existing app. 2. Evaluating the change Next, the team evaluates how the change will impact the existing system. They look at things like cost, time, and resources. Example, the team will check if adding a new payment method will require redesigning the payment process or the user interface. 3. Documenting the change Once the change is approved, it's documented properly so that everyone involved in the project knows what is changing. This documentation is added to the Software Requirement Specification, SRS. Example, the new feature to support the payment method is documented in the SRS, including technical details. 4. Approving the change The proposed change needs approval from stakeholders like the customer, project manager, or team lead before it's added. Without proper approval, the project may face scope creep, uncontrolled changes. Example, the project manager confirms the new feature fits within the budget and timeline. 5. Implementing the change After approval, the development team makes the necessary changes to the software, ensuring the changes are properly tested. Example, the development team writes code for the new payment method and tests it. 6. Monitoring and tracking The change is tracked to ensure it is working as expected and doesn't cause problems in the system. Example, after implementing the new payment method, the team monitors for bugs and checks user feedback. Easy way to remember IDAIM, Identify, Evaluate, Document, Approve, Implement, Monitor. Summary Requirement change management helps handle changes in a structured way. It ensures that the software remains aligned with the customer's needs without causing confusion or delays. Next important long question is 4. Explain the traceability and validation specification. Traceability and validation specification are two important concepts in software engineering that help ensure the software meets the customer's needs and works as expected. 1. Traceability Traceability refers to the ability to track and link the software's requirements from the start to the end of the project. It helps in ensuring that each requirement is met and properly implemented. Why is traceability important? It ensures no requirement is left out. It helps track the progress of development. It makes it easy to verify that the software fulfills all the customer needs. Example Let's say you are building an online shopping app. A requirement might be the user should be able to add items to the cart. With traceability, you can link this requirement to the actual code written for the cart feature, ensuring that the feature is implemented and tested properly. Traceability is usually managed using a traceability matrix, which shows the relationship between requirements and their implementation. 2. Validation Specification Validation specification is the process of defining how the software will be tested to ensure that it meets the requirements and works correctly. It specifies the testing criteria, methods, and conditions used to check the software. Why is validation specification important? It ensures the software works as expected. It prevents errors and bugs by testing the system before release. It ensures the software delivers value to the customer. Example If the requirement is the app should display a user's order history, the validation specification would describe how to test this feature, such as Create test cases that check if the correct order history is shown for different users. Define the expected outcome for valid and invalid inputs. Easy way to remember 
Traceability is equal to track requirements. Validation specification is equal to test the software. Summary Traceability ensures all requirements are tracked and implemented correctly, while validation specification defines how to test the software to make sure it works as expected. Together, they ensure that the software meets the customer's needs and functions smoothly. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.